And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, well, not a fun way to end my weekend and I'm sure all of you guys as well. Um, game just ended 24-21 loss. You know, it had been a good weekend. I, uh, I uh, watched a stream online of you know my alma mater App State um, beat the number one team in, in their level, Georgia Southern, also a conference game. Knocked them out, um, knocked them off, rather, and uh, won an exciting game. And then uh, last night went to the uh, Coliseum and watched the uh, USC Stanford um, awesome game, triple overtime. Uh, USC lost, but you know it was a pretty phenomenal game. I actually saw a, a person in the front row of the student section um, on the camera. I saw him wearing a Cam Newton blue Cam Newton jersey. That was something to see um, over here at, at Southern Cal. But um, anyway, let's get to the game. Um, really unfortunate loss. I, there's a lot of reasons I think we lost this game. Uh, but when it, when it comes down, what people are going to focus on most, you know, is his Mare's miss at the end of the game. And there's just no way you miss a field goal like that. Snap was a little bit high, yeah, but not enough. I don't think that where you should be excused for missing something like that. That's basically a chip shot. Um, that should have sent the game to overtime. <sighs> but uh, anyway, let's just break down e each segment of the game like I, I typically do. Um, first, offensively, offense came out there, looked really good first half, had a great first half moving the ball. Um, but second half, we tended to stall. Uh, had three, I believe, three straight three and outs, three and outs uh, in the second half where we just... Uh, couldn't seem to move the ball there for a while. Um, just got to do a better job sustaining drives than that. I, I mean, like that, we uh, started stalling and had those three and outs. The defense was on the field for a while, got tired, started letting them just move all over the place on us. Um, just a really unfortunate series of events that caused this loss. Uh, Game we should have won. Uh, Minnesota team is not that good. I mean, props to Christian Ponder. He had a decent game. He's shows some poise there for a rookie. Um, you know what we've seen from Cam. He's showing the same type of poise uh, in the pocket. But anyway, just you know, Cam Newton did uh, had a decent game passing. Had three touchdown passes. Also had some that were a little bit off, and also lost two fumbles. Which you can't do. You just you can't do that. And you know, I think that's actually the first time he's fumbled all year. It's really unfortunate that it's two in one game and also two in uh, backed up in our territory. I mean, that gave him 14 points basically. Um, Giving the ball that deep, you, you know, it, that's what resulted in their first two touchdowns. Uh, just tough one to swallow. Um, you know, uh, just, that one sucked. It sucked. It, it sucks to sit here and, and see a loss like that. Um, but, uh, you know, individual performances. Smith had another good game, 100 yards. Um, just really wish we could have pounded that in there at the end. We, we, uh, I mean, the 4th the and 14, or, yeah, 4th and 12, 4th and 14 that we had, there at the end, um, I thought it was over, but to be able to hit LaFell on that pass, nice pass, uh, right over the defender's fingertips, uh, it was a good play. I mean, didn't see LaFell all day long until that uh, until that catch, not getting a whole lot of play out there. Um, but they were being awfully aggressive there at the end too. I was I was wishing that they would run the football a little bit. 
there, and you know, because the run game had been working okay. They're not really huge, but you know, it had been decent most of the day. So I wish they would have ran it a few times. We had plenty of time there at the end, um, but uh, didn't do that, and uh, unfortunately couldn't come away with it. The one pass in the end zone to Greg Olson at the end. That was, you know, he almost pulled that in. I didn't realize how close it was until I saw the replay. And he had it in his hands. Um, could have brought it in. Not quite. Uh, but defensively, I'll talk about them a little bit. First half, great effort. Uh, got out there. They were getting after it all first half. Uh, not letting Adrian Peterson go anywhere. You know, still held him under 100 yards rushing for the game, which is an accomplishment based on what he's been doing this year. Um, but... You know, he came out in the second half, and yeah, like I said earlier, some of it was with the offense. Uh, you know, not having sustained drives in the second half, they get a little bit tired out there and get winded. But uh, you know, it seemed like they were a little bit flat at the beginning of the second half. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's a product of you know, just not having adjustments made on defense, and also you know, being winded. But uh, just. So many times we had them third and long, couldn't get off the field. Uh, that, that's so frustrating when your team has, you know, your defense beats them down. They have them third and long, should be able to get off the field, and don't. I mean, especially when it's third and 10, third and 11, like we had them a few times. Just the middle of the field seems to always be wide open, and, and I don't understand that. I don't understand where your defense is at when you have people right over the middle of the field. I think uh, Vasante Shanko was open a few times, got hit for – you know, like a third and ten completion for a first down. And there's another one to Harvin. There's just, you know, you can't allow that. And, and I would have liked to have seen more pressure on Ponder. He just, it was, we got to him a couple times. But overall, he stayed pretty clean today. Um, that we were more focused on, you know, selling out to, to stop the run. That we just didn't get enough pressure on Ponder. And um, just weren't ready for the pass because we gave up way too much in the passing game, um, especially to, to Peterson. You know, he held Peterson to under 100 yards, but I, he had what approached 100 yards in receiving and two touchdowns. Uh, I mean, that's just unacceptable. you got to make adjustments and do something to, to tighten that up. Uh, but there were no adjustments made, and, uh, and there was the loss. So... Uh, and finally, special teams, you know, a lackluster day overall. Had some good punt coverage there a few times, uh, especially Captain Munderland. Props to Captain Munderland, by the way. He just, he had a great game. Um, battling with Harvin most of the day and uh, running down the field, making nice special teams tackles. <clears throat> and also had the uh, strip fumble recovery from Harvin. But uh, overall, you know, the first play of the game, the kickoff return, you can't allow that, uh, especially in this day and age when you're kicking off and you, they get the ball so deep. You can't let somebody take it that far and uh, essentially that, you know, start off like that and give them that big momentum swing. It, it's it's tough, and it took us a while to come back from that. Even though, um, you know, we we eventually recovered, but the special teams breakdowns can't have it. Uh, yeah, uh, still, and then after that, uh, Polaris brings it out and fumbles the football as well. Uh, we, we get that one back, but you know, still miscues. Uh, just, I saw a lack of execution today, and it sucks now that we're going into the bye week. Um, next week, having an off week, it's the you know the worst day of, of the year for me because uh, you know there's no Panthers football next Sunday. So, um, and then we've got two weeks to sit and stew over this loss. Um, wish it was the other way around. Wish it was two weeks to sit here and cherish the win. But you know, hopefully they go in uh, with this bye week and make some adjustments. Because uh, there, there needs to be some adjustments. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of promise. And I, I think there were a lot of people out there this week, the analysts, you know, coming in saying, you know, this Panthers team might be able to make a run for the playoffs. You know, that's all fine and good. But, you know, you, you hear that and then you come out and see a team that can't execute and, the, and, and, you know, can't execute completely well in any of the three phases, you just got to, you know, it's got to get better. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end that there. Um, I won't have a vid next week since it's the bye week, and I apologize for not putting out a preview, but this has just been 
probably my, my busiest week this past week since I moved to uh, here to California, and uh, you know then I had this uh, stuff yesterday. I was busy all day, so. Um, but go ahead and give me your thoughts on the game. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of things you can attribute this loss to, but go ahead and sound off. You know, what what, what do you think is is the most uh, attributable attributable thing for the loss? Uh, just let me know. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, 200 subs. I'm uh, over 200. I thank you guys for that so much. Um, I get a lot of joy out of making these videos for the most part, uh, especially when we're winning. But uh, wasn't the case today. So hope you all have a good week and a good next week. We'll see you for a preview um, in about a little less than two weeks uh, for our next game against Tennessee Titans. So hope you all uh, have a good week. Talk to you later. Go Panthers.